Hi, in this video I would like to uh, talk about the performance of this Samsung Galaxy S. Uh, this is um, the new release of Samsung and I bought this phone um, a few weeks back. I bought it in Singapore for 400 Sing dollars and I've been using this phone for um, about two weeks now and I found this phone is really comfortable and um, it's quite good. And um, okay, let me first show you how long this phone takes to boot. So for that first let me put off this phone. Okay, power off. So some people complain that this phone is kind of the imitation of the iPhone 4. Uh, it's true, but it um, almost looks like an iPhone 4, but it's not exactly the same as iPhone 4. And um, but for me it's okay as long as uh, we are copying the successful model, it's fine. Okay, let me turn on this phone. Yeah, it's switch off. Okay, let me turn on this phone. Okay. So for me, the boot time is not much important because we won't um, boot the phone that often. Maybe we boot hardly, maybe once in a month. So for me, it's uh, boot time is not much. Even if it takes a few minutes, it's fine for me. Uh, let me see how long this phone takes. Okay. And this phone comes with a 2GB memory card and you can see the memory card slot here and this is the button which you can use to lock or put a phone in the standby mode and you have a, a micro USB over here and then the, the socket for the earphone okay so it's boot up and this phone stick it took about 40 seconds to boot okay that's fine so this is the home screen and you can see the, um, we have a two soft keys here the one on the right hand side and the other on the left hand side in the right hand side you can this, this one is for the back so it is secure open any application you want to go to the previous window and it will help you to go back so it's in the battery stop okay and this other button over here the soft key is here Okay, this other one on here, it will, it's kind of a menu button, so it will bring you the menu options. And the center one is like, um, it's a, uh, if you have an application and you can use it to, to minimize. And uh, let's see if I have a, if you want to go to the home screen, if you press this, it will bring you to the home screen. And then if you give the long press, then it will bring you to the, to show what are the recent applications that we open. And uh, if you press the task manager, it will show, bring you to the, the active application which will show the menu which will show the active application and the, what are the softwares that we installed so far and then the how much RAM this phone is uh, is being using so actually this phone uh, this comes with a 278 MB RAM and um, right now you can see that I didn't open any application so far so you can see it is taking about a 149 MB RAM so the Android operating system, operating system and the other application the basic application is taking about 149 MB RAM. Okay, now let me open a few applications and see um, how much the other the open applications are taking. Okay, so yeah, and then other um, the interesting feature that this phone has is a kind of the shutter, so you can drag it from the top side, the top end, and it will basically show the it's kind of the, the status window so it will if I receive any messages or missed, if I have any missed call then it will be appear here and even if I receive any new email it will appear here so it's uh, very user friendly and if you want to put off your Wi-Fi you can easily done do that and uh, GPS so I really like this one it's really useful for me okay and uh, So this is uh, how the the gallery looks like for Android system, Android 2.2. And uh, this phone has a very good, the decent uh, display. It's a it has a 3.5 in touch screen display, and also it has um, the pin zoom feature enabled. So you can see how responsive it is. It's really good, and uh, it has um, the resolution is quite. It's a pretty good and it's even comparable with the, the high-end smartphone 
and it, it, this is powered by a uh, 800 megahertz uh, 800 megahertz yeah, processor uh, so it's pretty good it's um, the kind of um, although they claim this as a middle-end smartphone but it does most of the job as a high-end smartphone okay let me open some applications first uh, in this one I install some application and uh, some games so first let me open the, um, Angry Bird Okay, so you can see so I have angry bird open. Let me minimize this and then let me open the other application like uh, the map. Okay, let's go. Cool. Let me minimize that and then let me open some video in YouTube. Okay, so some video. I should clear screen that is really good in this phone. Okay, let me minimize that too and then open some more application. Let me open the YouTube. Okay, let me open the PDF. Okay. Okay. Now see how much memory this phone takes. This memory, all the applications they opened recently take. So here it's showing three applications, but I actually opened the four applications. The one is um, the map. The phone doesn't recognize it's an application because it comes with the phone, and it recognizes only the application that I installed. Okay. Let me see how much RAM. Yeah. So these four application takes about extra uh, 60 MB RAM. So now the phone is using about 200 MB RAM. Okay, so let me open some more application. The other interesting feature that the Android has is if you open a mini application, and if you don't have, the, if your phone doesn't have enough memory to open the application, then it will open, it will close the previous application and open the application that you are trying to open. Uh, right now, uh, so okay, this is a Samsung application. No update, so you may start. Okay, uh, what else? Okay, let me open this application also. This is other game that I like. Okay, let me see how many applications is running right now. So right now the nine application is running and then let me open some more application and you can find that uh, it'll be financing one of the application will be deactivated. So now you can see the all the applications um, the is uh, the application name is uh, in green so it says that it is active. Let me open some more application. Oh, like this is the other uh, game. Okay, so this game is on now. Okay, let me move that and uh, the, the gallery I opened before is now it's deactivated so it seems that the Android in this phone couldn't find enough memory to open the game so it deactivated the gallery so this is uh, the interesting feature that this phone have uh, no, not this phone that basically the Android operating system has so what I am um, suggesting is if you are looking if you are trying to open only the uh, five or six application and this phone is fine and it it good to the uh, the performance will be better if you are intended to open more um, applications at the same time then this is not the right phone 
for me this phone is it's okay because uh, we open only the four or five application at the same time and uh, the only drawback that I the only drawback that I notice in this phone is the battery the battery the battery it drains really fast so and um, if I browse internet or if I play the game continuously then I found that this phone is uh, the battery is drains really fast and uh, uh, right now I'm charging this phone twice a day because uh, most of the time I'll be in the internet and playing games so other than the battery this phone is really good it's worth buying this phone I recommend this phone strongly okay thanks for watching